Before we get started, I just want to say one thing. This isn't going to be some gimmicky post where I promise that you'll learn a language in two weeks or five days or 0.12 seconds. This is actually going to be 10 real ways you can speed up your language learning and it's based on my personal experience learning almost a dozen languages. I can't believe it's already been that many. So if you're looking for a shortcut to learn languages without actually having to work, this video probably isn't for you. But if you're serious about your language learning and you're looking for ways to become a more efficient learner, then let's get started. One, be selective. And when I say be selective, I mean that you need to be selective with the resources that you're using. You need to be selective in the space where you're studying so that you don't have too many distractions. You need to be selective in how you spend your free time, meaning less Netflix and more language study. And you need to be selective in what you learn. So you need to decide what your goals are and pick resources and materials that help you achieve those goals. Number two is, if you haven't already, establish what your goals are and create a plan to work towards them. If you spend time up front figuring out what your goals with the language are and then designing a plan to accomplish those goals, you're going to be a much more effective and efficient language learner than if you just go at it haphazardly, randomly working through resources without any clear end goal in mind. Plus, you'll save yourself a ton of time by giving your study that little bit of direction because you'll always have that next step and you'll be able to keep moving forward in the language that you're learning. Three, give one language all of your attention. Yes, I know for some of you who want to learn several languages, this probably isn't the thing that you want to hear. But if you really wanna excel at language learning, and speed up your progress in a language, the best way to do it is to give that one language all of your attention. You can always pick up another one later on. Four, be consistent with your study. You're going to make a lot more progress studying 15 minutes every single day than you will studying in a one, two hour block per week. The longer you go between study periods, the more time you have to spend doing review. So it's actually just better to study a little bit every day so that you can keep progressing and learning new things as opposed to taking a ton of time off between study sessions and studying for a long period of time. Plus, you won't be as focused for a long period of time as you can be for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Five, choose to study a language that you love. If you choose to study a language that you love, you're gonna be motivated to study it and therefore you're gonna spend more time doing it and then you'll learn it faster. Plus, you want to make language learning feel as little like work as possible. Six, start producing in the language as soon as possible. Listening and reading are great skills when it comes to learning a language. But if you really want to make something your own, you need to produce in the language. This means speaking and writing. Input is really how you learn the information you need to know to speak a language. but. Output is really how you make that information your own. And also, by speaking or writing in your target language, you're forced to pull together everything that you've learned. And it's really one of the quickest ways to master a new language. Seven, immerse yourself in the language whenever and wherever possible. Immersion isn't something that happens just when you travel abroad. You can actually create an immersion environment at home. You could do this by engaging in daily language exchanges or by setting your devices and the things that you use regularly into your target language. You can even watch movies or TV shows and listen to music or the radio in your target language. Eight, think of language learning in terms of hours rather than years. This is actually a great tip that I got from Benny Lewis over at Fluent in Three Months. It's possible to learn a language in months rather than years. All you have to do is take the total number of hours that it takes to learn a language and pack them into a shorter amount of time rather than spreading them out over a longer period of time. I explain this tip in more depth in the blog post that accompanies this video, so I'll include a link to that below and you can learn more about this method by reading that post. Nine, context. If you give the material that you're learning a little bit of context, you'll find that it sticks so much better than if you're just trying to learn vocabulary and grammar in isolation with flashcards and textbooks. Exposure to what you're learning in multiple contexts is way better than just seeing it in one or two places. 10, teach. I found that one of the best ways to really understand something that you're learning is to teach it to someone else. 
I can't even begin to tell you how many grammar points have suddenly clicked for me just because I needed to explain them to another person. So there you have it, 10 ways to speed up your language learning. I personally like to take my time with the languages that I'm studying because I'm really in it for the long haul. Slow and steady wins the race. And I found my retention is just much better overall when I'm really consistent with my study. So basically there's really no time limit for me on my learning. So if you've ever needed or wanted to learn a language quickly, I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. Let me know what methods worked for you and which didn't. And I look forward to hearing from you. So thank you so much for watching.